The Gauteng Premier, David Makura, says the high unemployment rate requires an emergency response. During his State of the Province address today, Makura said joblessness needs to be treated with the same urgency as we treated the COVID-19 pandemic. Makura has also slammed attacks on foreigners in recent days. This, of course, is over Operation Dudula, which is targeting foreign shop owners. They were in Hilbra again over the weekend. ENCA reporter Pule Letsuiti Jones joins us now. Hello, Pule. So let's deal first with this jobs emergency. The Premier is saying it's got to be treated as an absolute crisis. What exactly is his plan for Gauteng in this regard? Well, this was quite one of the core focal um, points of the State of the Province address. And many opposition parties and leaders were expecting that the Premier highlights this problem. We do understand that the unemployment rate is sitting at 37% in Gauteng. And there was quite concerns around how the Premier would then announce some of the plans as to fighting this problem in the province. But he said that um, there's been local investors who have committed themselves to pumping in around 40, about $45 billion into the special economic zone in the Val River. Most importantly, also focusing on other special economic zones, which he believes that this economic stimulus will contribute towards the economy economy of the province. But around that as well, there's also been quite concerns within the cannabis industry where some of the local farmers have been complaining around not receiving adequate funding from the provincial government, but most importantly, not having enough resources, which includes land. And the Premier has highlighted that this is some of the issues that they may have to look into establishing a, a, a war room which will also work hand in hand with businesses implementing ideas as to how they can create jobs for some of these or not only young people but also those who are unemployed in the province as well. He also targeted uh, this issue of uh, foreign nationals in South Africa. Uh, some of them undocumented. We know that Operation Dudula uh, is going around to foreign-owned shops and basically telling foreigners to leave. Now, I'm not sure if that's just only undocumented foreigners or not, but it, it's an issue uh, that is very emotive. It's been in the spotlight for weeks now. The Premier has previously said that he supports this Operation Dudula, but nothing unlawful. What exactly did he say today? Also, I remember the Premier sat down exclusively with my colleague Govan, I think two days ago, where he said he supported the idea which was carried out by Operation Dudula. However, he also said during his State of the Province address that such motives should be encouraged also and be implemented within the frameworks of the law where the law enforcement agency should be able to guard what's happening and ensuring that there are operations which will then go door-to-door -door looking as to whether who are those, some of those um, undocumented foreign nationals who are within the province and of course looking at a broader range within the country operating illegally within some of the communities at some point there's also been concerns around crime where some of those who are undocument, undocumented have been giving law enforcement tough time when they have to be tracked and be held accountable for some of their crimes so the the, the premier has taken a stance to support what operation Dudula has been doing which has been the hot potato within the media and of course the public for the past couple of days while some have condemned it to say this operation may be a degeneration that will cause lawlessness in the country. Makura says they should work hand in hand with police officials and within the framework of the law in the country. All right, let's take a listen. We are working, we have worked with organizations representing refugees, which are also representing migrants in Gauteng. We are going to continue to work with them. We want to work with them. We want to make sure that we work together and ensure they are all in our province properly, in our country, safely and legally. But we also want to ensure that our, our state provides security to the borders and security to its own citizens. And for that reason, we don't want citizens to take the law in their own hands. It is the job of government to, to do border security, but also safeguard citizens. It's the job of government and law enforcement agencies. We want to work with civil society, civil society organizations that are also concerned about this issue of migration, including illegal migrants. We want to work with them. I want to emphasize we want to work with them. But nobody should resort to violence. Nobody should take the law into their own hands. And the law enforcement officers must do their job. And people should not be attacked or killed because they are foreign nationals. 
Well, that's a very clear message there. Uh, Pule, talk to me about the reaction after his State of the Province address, uh, particularly from within the ANC, because let's face it, the ANC is a very divided party. It's in a crucial year with an elective Congress due in December. And we know uh, that David Makura is potentially a very powerful member of the party nationally, could even be in line uh, for one of the top six positions. Yes, Ali, there's been uh, media reports suggesting that um, the Premier would be one of those who may earn a spot within the top six of, uh, top six of the African National Congress. But remember, just in December, there was a meeting um, within the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC in which they discussed how they, they, dis they discussed their poor performance in the local government elections. So the Premier today went in chestering to the SOPA, knowing that they had lost some of the key municipalities, including Tuane, um, Johannesburg, and of course, Ekurleni, due to, amongst other issues, where many had highlighted which are service delivery problems and you'd listen uh, just quiet when we spoke to the provincial secretary of the ANC Jacob Kawe earlier on saying that he hopes that the SOPA will, that is that has highlighted some of the core issues and challenges in the province will then act on these um, challenges and ensure a pragmatic implementation of voters not losing confidence in what the premier had announced today. I just want you to take, uh, take a listen to what he had to say when he told us about the premier SOPA earlier on today. One of the things that I was hoping to hear from the Premier was that they're doing away with the Department of Infrastructure Development. In fact, he slapped the people of Gauteng by saying, this is a failing department, but I'm not going to do away with it. He said, uh, in his own words, that uh, um, he's going to take some of uh, the responsibilities of DID and make sure that they lie with the Department of Health or Department of, uh, of, uh, of Education. Now, what is then the, 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 the importance of having DID? Instead of ensuring that we have 500 million that is, uh, that is spent on a hospital that is only now occupied by three people instead of ensuring that we have schools that are now um, you know all over the province that are still using asbestos or some of the schools um, you know that cannot be occupied because of they've been built very very badly and they don't comply so these are things that in my mind are a slap in the face of the people of Gauteng who are asking you know we are now cash strapped. We are now having limited resources. Why are you not ensuring that the resources are used for what they are supposed to be used in the first time around? That you don't have to spend much more money fixing what shouldn't have been broken in the first place. Of course, that was the DA Gauteng leader, uh, Solim Zimanga. Uh, the DA said before his address that he'd actually broken loads of promises. Uh, Makura said, I will show you during my address that I haven't. <laughs> the job of a journalist is to actually <laughs> look out the window and say whether it's raining or not, if you, if you understand the analogy. Um, who was right, having listened to his speech? Well, definitely. I mean, if you look at um, the SOPA from 2014 and 2019, there's quite a lot of promises that the Premier had made in terms of lifestyle audits, actually, and, of course, cleaning corruption in the province. But those are some of the things we yet to see. The Premier is allegedly to be sitting on some of the SIU reports which, ha which have not been made public, and these are some of the highlights that the DA has made today during uh, post uh, the SOPA address. So it seems as though the Premier's office may have to go back to a drawing board and ensure that they are transparent in the public and that the public can trust the Premier's office once again. Thank you so much, ENCA reporter Pule Litsuiti-Jones there.